What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about my my all-time favorite concealers. Um, conceal off. <sighs> I can never say that word right. Concealers? Tapajera. We're going to be talking about my favorite concealers. Um, I think it's a very informative video just because if you're like me and you have really dark under eyes, you will probably um, find yourself struggling with concealers and probably trying to hide your under eyes and whatnot and all this crazy stuff. So I really wanted to put this video together for you guys because it has helped me watch here on YouTube other um, gurus that talk about concealers or like... Um, Pretty much I find out through most repurchased products or my f or monthly favorites or holy girl products. That's mostly what I actually find out about other type of concealers. Or I just, I'm a concealer whore. <laughs> I really wanted to bring out four to you guys. My top concealers, what I use, uh, why I use them, why I like them, and how I use them. So I really wanted to put this video up together for you guys. I will soon be announcing on my Instagram what will be the girl, what will be the next girl talk video that I'm gonna make. Like what will be the the actual name for that series? I'm sorry. What will be the the topic for that girl talk video? And you guys can just shoot go, go ahead and shoot me all your questions that you guys want to hear on that specific topic. So again, thank you guys so much. And if you guys want to see what my favorite concealers are, and you like these type of informative videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and believe me you will not regret it uh, 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 wink wink if you know what I mean <laughs> so if you want to see what my favorite concealers are of all time that I love that I use that I sleep with that I I don't sleep with them <laughs> but that I'm like obsessing over all you have to do is grab a snack and keep watching with um, drugstore concealers because I think I can talk a lot about drugstore concealers and I actually have three actually have three drugstore concealers um, that I want to talk to you guys about and one of them is like my holy girl the other two are like yes I've used them would I repurchase a concealer one more day one day yeah I guess I, I will I mean I got nothing against concealers I don't think you could a girl would ever could ever have enough concealers so first off I'm gonna to talk to you about one that is like my holy girl when it comes to um drugstore and I have to give it to the instant age rewind erase dark circles reason why I love it it doesn't hide my under eyes completely like other concealers do I just think it's so easy to blend definitely easy to blend and definitely gives you that highlight color that you're looking for so pretty much if you're trying to do like a highlight like a highlight um sort of contour highlight and you're trying to go with drugstore i think in here on youtube i think most of the girls are, have used this one and i do gotta say that i absolutely love this one right here i love 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 it the reason why it glides on so easily it's affordable and it's super 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 blendable it's not even funny how amazing easily it blends um if you want to click over and check my video that i did on this look um you would be you would see how i blend how easily it blends to my skin with uh my damp beauty blender so i really really love this one um i don't use it alone i use other concealer under and then i use this one so it's not gonna it's not something that i use and it hides my under eyes and i am like super static about it it's not so the other um concealer that i've actually managed to love i have not been using it for a very very long time but the time i've been using it it gives me amazing coverage and is the hard candy glam of hard candy glamour glam of ludge glam of glam glam of lodge excuse me I will just put it right down here and it's the heavy duty concealer the only downside to this concealer is that it tends to crease up on me um, during the day but nothing a little powder touch up can't fix so it's not like it's a big deal but I do love ah! excuse me while I go reach for it well hello ladies I am back <laughs> Excuse my hair i just got it done like i just dyed my hair again to like jet black and it's like super super clean and when it's like super super clean it's just like ah it has a mind of its own i like it when it's dirty 
dirty hair is easy to manage. A little bit of dry shampoo and I manage. <laughs> Anyways, we're not talking about her. We're talking about concealers. So this concealer, actually, I do like it. It gives me amazing coverage. The only thing, like I said, it kind of tends to crease on me during the day. And that is just like, eh. But again, nothing a little touch up of powder cannot fix. I do like the coverage. It's a little, uh, it's a very thick, it's, it's a medium thick consistency. I would say it's not like a really thick consistency. I just think that a little bit goes a long way. When I, play, I first applied it, I love the concealers that have the little small tube, as you guys can see. The little small tube. I love concealers who have that small tube because it actually gives you a precise application and it gives you, I'm sorry, it gives you like a precise amount so you don't go overboard. So when I applied it, I'm going to try and see. It's a little liquidy at first, to be honest. Like, it gave me like a little liquid, but I just think that the coverage was actually like right on point. You see how like light that looks? Sorry, I'm tanned using the tan. So I just think that because it's not like a very thick, thick consistency, it tends to crease on me. But other than that, I absolutely love it. I can't, I really can't complain about it. I just, 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 if it was a little thicker, I think it would not crease on me. The other concealer that a lot of girls rave about here on YouTube, it's not my favorite, but I do use it when I have to like do like a heavy contour, like, like highlight and contour. I reach out for the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I think it has amazing coverage. It has very, 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 very good blendability, if that's even a word. It blends very, very easily as well. I really, really love it. Like I said, it's not my favorite, but I definitely reach out to it when I'm trying to like, like if right now, if I wanted to be more of like an ump highlight effect on my under eyes, I would be using this one. But if I just want to do a little more simple, like yeah, I do have concealer, but it's not like all that. It's not like a va va boom highlight and, highlight and contour type of look, then I just don't reach for it. But I do like it. Um, haven't... Yes, I used it actually. I used it by itself. Um, it did not give me like a lot of coverage. So for me, it wasn't like coverage. I know a lot of people say this is like a dupe for the NARS creamy concealer. Is that what it's called? The creamy concealer? NARS. I've never tried the NARS concealer. Um, I've always tried reaching for it, but I feel so guilty buying such an expensive concealer. And I'm just like, oh my god, like this concealer is so freaking expensive. But I have heard so many good things about it. Um, question, parenthesis, please let me know down below. Um, I know right now there's a sort of like a battle going on between the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Concealer and the NARS Creamy Concealer. Give me your thoughts because I'm definitely going to go pick, um, pick out a hard, um, a high end because mine's ran out. And So give me your thoughts down below. Uh, NARS liquid what is it nars creamy concealer vanilla custard something like that or uh, or the urban decay naked concealer so give me your input information down below i want to try and see which one i pick out so again supposedly this is a dupe for it if it's like this one we're gonna have a little hard trouble picking it because again it doesn't give me like really really very for coverage because i have really dark dark under eyes but if you don't have really dark under eyes, and it will give you amazing coverage as to coverage, highlight, and con concealer. So these are like my three nice, I would say, um, drugstore concealers that I've actually been like, like constantly reaching out for. Now when it comes to high end, I have three other, I actually have three high end. And the first one is like my holy grail high end concealer. Might have probably not seen me talk about this concealer as much as I used to because I kind of ran out of it and because I want to try out a different high-end concealer, I actually haven't repurchased, but I definitely highly recommend this concealer. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and it's amazing concealer. It just conceals your under eye so amazingly. You don't even have to wear any corrector under. I will get into correctors in a minute. You don't really have to wear any correctors under. It definitely hides your under eyes. Gives you amazing coverage. It doesn't crease on you whatsoever. It definitely lasts a very long time. And it gives you like a highlight effect. Like, OMG, all of that in this Bye Bye Under Eye bottle. I was just like, baby, where have you been all my life? Because like, whoa, Jesus. It's like, it's like concealer and it's just like, oh.
get it? <laughs> no? Okay, let's move on that. Let's see, should I erase it, cut it from... I don't know, we'll see. So anyways, concealer, oh my god, holy grail concealer. I absolutely love this baby. And you might say, for instance, if it's empty, why don't you throw it out? It's just, I don't, I don't want to throw it out. It's just, I've had a long relationship with it and it just feels weird for me to throw it out. So just, let's just leave it laying around. The other two concealer, one is, I got sent over actually and I had to try it out. And it's the Amazing Concealer, Amazing Cosmetic, Amazing Concealer. It's this one right here. It's a little liquidy. It looks like the hard candy one actually. It's like a hard candy, like hard candy and the Amazing Cosmetic should be like a dupe for it to be honest. Because the consistency of the hard candy is as similar as the Amazing Cosmetics concealer. It definitely says um, that it highlights, it um, conceals, it primes, it's as a base, everything it does, all of that. I definitely have used it. Downside to it for me is too liquidy. When a concealer is too liquidy for me, it's just like, ah. Uh, I have used it. Again, if you are a liquidy concealer, I will use you as a highlight. Sort of. Type thing. What if I talk to you from now on with my half face cover? What do you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just need to focus. So anyways, I really, really did like this one right here. Um, again, if you're into liquid concealers, then this one is going to be amazing. Coverage-wise, it was really good coverage. It was actually not bad. I think I wore it and I did not have to wear any conceal, any like dip, any, any of the concealer under. The only thing is because it was liquidy, even though I set it with a powder, it tends to crease on me during the day. That's the only downside to this. But other than that, it's amazing quality and kind of on the expensive side. But it's not bad. And the last one that I have been using for the past two months, and I was like, oh my god, where have you been? I didn't know I had you. I actually had this. I got sent over by um, Amway and Ar Artistry. I've actually been reaching out for some Amway products. I don't know if you guys heard me talk about it. I did talk about Amway, and my it's going to be on my skincare routine because I, I actually... Why does my hair look like fubu? I hate it. Anyways, so this concealer is called Artistry, and it's from the Amway line, and it's sort of like a lipstick concealer oh my god ladies i've never tried the estee lauder concealer i'm pretty sure there's one like this but this concealer it's amazing coverage whoa definitely it's a little hard to blend just because of the type of concealer it is it's a lipstick concealer but I actually apply this under and then I apply this on top and it mixes it up and I blend it and it completely blends easily. I absolutely love this concealer. This concealer definitely gives me very, 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 very full coverage under my eyes and I absolutely love this concealer. I was like, oh my god. I love it, to be honest. And I don't really know what's the number. It's called light. I'm sorry, it's the light. I should tell you. Um, On the... H instant H rewind. Um, this is light on the hard candy glam of lodge heavy duty concealer. I am a color. Do, 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 do. I think this is light also. I think this was the light concealer. Yeah, light on the bye bye under eye. I'm also light. I remember even though it doesn't have it written there. Um, these amazing cosmetics. Um, it they was actually fair. And then on the arm. Um, ah, ah, why is everything falling? Oh my god, I gotta go. And on the Amway um, Artistry concealer, I am a. I'm on light. Everything is light. Have you seen how pale I am, people? Like I have to do like self tanning like all the time because it's just like ew. I'm as I'm as pale and white as this shirt, people. Like really. And to finish off, I think that I think if you have really dark under eyes, what will really work on you, no matter what you wear, what type of concealer you wear, are correctors. These are my babies. These are my correctors, and they are from NYX. I have NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in color Salmon. And of course, I have to use the Salmon color because that is going to actually hide any of that blue and um, bluish, purplish, dark gish crap under my eyes so i have that one and which is the nyx um color correcting concealer palette and it has all these colors and definitely of course they have different um 
drops. That's why you have the yellow, the tor the greenish, the purple, the salmon, the light, and then that dark color over here. I actually came across this baby right here and I actually use it when I'm trying to do a very deep, 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 deep makeup where I really just taking pictures or i'm going to be out all day i'm going to church or i'm going out as on a date or something i tend to reach out for this palette definitely a corrector palette if you have really really dark under eyes it's going to help i think it's an extra step but if you're trying to do a better makeup and you're trying to hide your under eyes a little bit more than what a normal concealer would do then i recommend you reaching out for for a color for a correcting um for a corrector for a corrector and it all depends on the colors of the veins on your under eyes so um you always can uh, google that and search it and find out exactly which ones which color corrector which corrector works for you mine is a salmon i have to use any salmon and i really really actually seen a very big big difference when i use a corrector so um this is it i really wanted to share with you guys what are were my top concealers high-end and drugstore and again i think concealers are pretty much very important when it comes to makeup so please ladies let me know down below in the comments as usual what is your favorite concealer what is your holy girl concealer if you have really dark under eyes like me let me know which one has worked for you what tricks and tips and tr i'm sorry what tips and tricks have worked for you when it comes to concealer please let me know nars creamy concealer urban decay naked concealer let me know i want to know which one and definitely reach out and buy it so thank you so much for your love your continued support i really cannot express how thankful i am to each and one of you guys thank you thank you thank you and if you like this sort of video where you want a little bit more information about the products that i use go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel hello what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button thank you so much for sticking till the end Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.